And just one example we can give, they say that you should not beat small children. Up until the age of seven, you shouldn't have to beat children. And even after that, you shouldn't have to beat children. One of the things that one of our teachers told us in Hosa was, what you teach little children by beating them, is that force is an acceptable means to get what you want. When daddy tells you, come down from up there, and you stay up there, and then daddy take off the belt and come and beat you. Now, daddy feels like he just taught that kid, listen to me, come down when I tell you to come down. What the child just learned was, when daddy wants something, he uses force to accomplish it. So if they go to school like this and they become the bully in school, where did they learn it? At home. There are so many recommendations that we have, so many pishnahadat and so many advices that we have from the Imams and from the Prophet Send us salawat, please. You know, one of the things, we look at the history of Islam, and you've heard me say this before, that this book, Sahifa Sajadiyya, and in fact, the Imamat of Imam Zainul Abideen, alayhi salatu wasalam, it is the manifestation of the revolution of Hussein. If you want to understand the meaning of Hussein's movement, the meaning of Hussein's revolution, look at the life of Imam Zain al Abidin alayhi salatu wasalam. Everything that Hussein died for, everything that his companions died for, everything that his children died for, is found in the Imamat of Imam Zain al Abidin alayhi salatu wasalam. Now many times we go and we buy the Sayyid for Sajjadiyya that's got the English and the Arabic in it. In the back of this book is Risalatul Buqoot. They sell this book separately sometimes. Both of these are available for free online. Get into the habit of reading both of them. Both of them, Sahifatu Sajjadiyya, Risalatul Buqoot, convey the message of Imam Hussein's movement. Particularly in Risalatul Hukuk, we see this book that's called A Treatise on Rights, where Imam Zain al Abidin has discussed the rights of each and every one of the peoples in the society, status, st uh, types of people, and one of them is the rights of your children. Imam Zain al Abidin he says, The right of your child is that you should know that he is from you and will be ascribed to you. That means on Yawm al Qiyamah, and even in this life, your child is yours. And everyone will say, that's so and so's child. That he is from you and he will be ascribed to you through both his good and his evil. His good deeds and his evil deeds will be ascribed to you. That when your child grows up and becomes pious, muttaqeen, mu'min, Everyone will say, MashaAllah, MashaAllah, his parents are so great. And when the child grows up, the same parents, the child grows up to be a Muslim, the, the people will say, MashaAllah, MashaAllah, his parents messed up somewhere. <laughs> this is unfortunate, but this is the way it is. Parents get the blame for everything. And even Imam Zain al Abidin is saying that. He's ascribed to you in both his good deeds and his immediate and his e evil deeds. He's ascribed to you in the immediate affairs of this world and in the hereafter. You are responsible for what has been entrusted to you, such as educating him in good conduct, pointing him to the direction of his Lord, and helping him to obey him. So act towards him with the action of one who knows that he will be rewarded for doing good toward him and punished for evil. One of the responsibilities, a couple of those responsibilities that's mentioned here by Imam Zain al Abidin is that we are responsible for educating our children. That we are responsible for guiding them to their Lord and helping them to obey Him. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Prophet says, educate your children in the deen and in the ahadith of Ahlul Bayt before the corrupt people precede you in educating your children. You take the 
first step to educate your children about the deen, about Ahlul Bayt, before the evil people and the corrupt people train them. Make it clear, what is Prophet saying? Prophet saying, look, this child is going to be trained. There's no escape, he's going to be trained. He's going to form an identity. Someone's going to give him an identity. If you give him first the identity of a mu'min and a follower of Ahlul Bayt, then you've succeeded. If not, someone else will train him. Don't think that if you don't do it, the masjid will do it, somebody will do it. No. If you don't do it, someone else will do it. And Prophet is saying that someone else, the someone else who will do it will be those corrupt people. We see this, that that's these responsibilities that we have towards our children that are vital in creating a balanced individual with a good self-concept and a positive identity. You know, a lot of times, we parents, we don't realize what an effect we have on our children in their forming of their identity. Many things we do, we don't even realize what an effect we're having. I've chosen a couple of hadith from Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam, to show us some of these things. <laughs> Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam, he says, Surely the heart of a child is like fertile ground. So whatever is planted there is accepted. The heart of a child is like fertile ground. Whatever you plant there, whatever you place there, it will blossom and bloom. That means if you put something positive, the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his prophet, prophet sahab it will take root there and will grow there. If you place evil there, it also will grow there and will take root there. This is one that really affects me and I try to give it out to those brothers who have issues with their families and with their children. Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam says that when a father beats his child, it is like putting manure on a young crop. Anybody with any farming experience in here? What happens when you have a young crop? and you put fertilizer on that young crop, a young green crop, and you put fertilizer on that, you burn it. You kill it. This plant is not old enough yet to take that, and you destroy it. Imam Ali is saying that when a father beats his child, it is like putting manure, fertilizer, on a young crop. It burns them, destroys the roots so that they never grow back. This is something very important for us to remember that in regards to our children, inshallah. Imam Sadiq alayhi salatu wasalam, he said, take action in teaching children the traditions of Ahl al-Bayt to your children before corrupted persons also proceed in corrupting. Now, you know, one thing that we have to realize about ourselves is that in our training of our tra tradition, in our training of our children, and in our leading our children to righteousness and teaching them, we see that with this responsibility, we have to always remember to be careful with their feelings and with their emotions, especially we're talking about those young children. We've heard that saying of Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam that when a child looks at their parents in a, in a way that is pleasing, that they look at their parents and smile, that this is a blessing for the child and for the parents. And when a child looks at his parents by just the opposite measure, with fear, or with some type of regret, some type of anticipation, anxiety, this also goes against them, against those parents. And we should be on our guard with how we treat our children and how we uh, raise them. Please send another salam. <laughs>